Hi Gemini, this is Joanna with Moon Water Tarot and this is your August reading for 2016. And please remember if this does not resonate, watch your rising and or moon sign. And of course, if you would like a private reading with me, I would love to do one for you. You can reach me at moonwatertarot.com. Okay, so let me focus here for August. August 31st. Okay, and what are the messages for Gemini? Gemini for August. August. Gemini. Gemini. All right, let's take a look. Okay, so we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, the Three of Cups, another Nine, the Hermit in reverse, and the two in reverse with the seven. Let me put out some more cards because I'm being led to. Wow. Okay. Wow, we have another seven. All right, Gemini. Okay, so I had to raise the camera so you could see all the cards. So I have that done. Now, um, I'm seeing some, I'm having some weird uh, visions and I'm just going to say this because it, it means something to somebody. I feel like, um, first of all, I just heard the ice cream truck. I was saying this in another reading that I love having my windows open. I'm sitting here melting though. It's like 90 degrees, but I just love like the outside air in my house. So, um, but I heard the ice cream truck and what I got was also this vision of Jack in the box. Like, you know, those toys that uh, something like winding up. So I don't know if it's a play on words, like someone is toying with you or if somebody has like a, an old toy that has some meaning because I'm seeing like soldiers, uh, toy soldiers or tin soldiers. But I'm also seeing like a jack in the box where you wind something up and something pops out like surprise. So there could be a surprise coming is another way that I'm reading this, but I just had to get that out because I felt like it was important, especially because the ice cream truck just went by, like I said. Okay, so I want to focus on the first round, which we have the hermit. It's interesting. We have two nines that came out here. So let me show you the nine of pentacles, of course, and the hermit. And we also have the Knight of Pentacles here. So it's interesting that we have this uh, both in all in reverse, actually. But if you watch my videos, you know what I like to do usually um, is add the numbers up. So we have two nines, and I'm just going to add the, add the first round, two nines. So that's 18. That becomes a 9 plus 7 is 16, which becomes a 7. Then 8, 9. Okay, and then this card came out first, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so that gets reduced to a three, and how interesting. We have a three here in the challenge position. These are all in the challenge position here. Okay. <laughs> I just realized, if I am correct, uh, sorry, I think I just hit the camera there. 
Yep, the flash just went out. I'm so sorry. Um, so much stuff is happening. <laughs> the third house is ruled by Gemini. It's, if I am correct. So how appropriate that everything is adding up to a three within the first layer. Um, what I want to say is this. I feel I'm getting the word vision or visionary. So I feel like some of you, your perspective or the way you see things, uh, or the way you see someone is going to be a very important, maybe it's also the way you see yourself, is going to be very important in August. There is a need to see. I'm getting sight unseen. I'm getting hindsight, foresight. Some of you, okay, I just heard this. Some of you have abilities about being able to see. And uh, see how the, okay, let me just set this down. The hermit is very much seeing here. It's almost, it's seeing so strongly. Um, it's going within. Here it's almost like not seeing at all. And look at the extreme. Of, like he's way down deep in the ground in the earth and the page of swords is way on top so there are extremes here but I feel like with the magician some of you may have magic or abilities to see things and they're a play on the word toy there may be something with like a jack-in-the-box or something in your house like like you may be seeing things in your house and wondering if you know am i seeing things and i feel like yes i mean you're seeing things accurately like there are things going on for at least one person in their house or you have some abilities maybe it's also there's a child because we have the page here that has some abilities and they're seeing something in the house so I wanted to um, say that. But I also feel like there is something about seeing. Um, when I look at this, I'm also seeing kind of um, things with like struggling, maintaining, maintaining something. So this I also feel could be, I'm picking it up as blood pressure. There could be something with the legs or pressure on the eyes or something like that. I don't feel like this is a surprise though. I feel like you know this, um, that uh, is, um, it needs to be looked at more closely or maybe you have a doctor's appointment in August and it's, you're gonna find out more of what this is. Because uh, there's something about seeing or planning something like a vision. So there could be somebody that, I think I already said this. This is how this is, yes, I said this already, like glasses. Um, or that maybe somebody needs an adjustment with their, their glasses. Uh, I do feel like there's a need or a want to travel, but I feel like possibly finances or just exhaustion. Um, like somebody's unable to travel for health reasons. Or if you are traveling, like if you're on the plane, make sure that you know how they say if it's like long trips that you know you flex your feet or legs or you get up and walk around in the aisles. I feel like that's going to be important for somebody because it could be very long distance travel in August. But I feel like somebody is unable to travel and I feel one of the reasons it could be a pregnancy that they're unable to travel. Um, I get the feeling that you're being pulled in many directions. Especially here with the chariot. Uh, it's almost like uh, you may have a child already and another child is coming. And uh, so I, I feel like finances may be very up and down. There may be expenditures like more is going out than what's coming in and uh, the budget is very tight. 
Um, but there's, there's definitely, um, there's, uh, there's need, need for clarity, need to see things more clearly, or there's been some type of, I feel like this is finances where something possibly has been lost or there's, um, possibly news about a job, but there's a delay. Uh, but see how the pentacles are in reverse here and then the outcomes in reverse, but then there's something coming in. This also may be indicative of a move. There may be a delay in moving. Um, now this could be an actual physical move. So this may not have to do with travel, but, um, there's issues or something that needs to be seen regarding, um, a home. This could be an inspection or something with the land is what I'm seeing here. But I, I feel like um, when I look at this, this is, see how it's just like you're going in opposite directions. So this could be you and somebody else. This could be because the number three is so prevalent um, that there's some kind of drifting apart and there's a need to kind of mend and get back on the same page. Could also be that in August, two people come into your life and uh, there's a decision to make. Um, but this could also be like different aspects of yourself. Uh, Knight of Swords is, you know, you're an air sign. These are air. Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra may have some importance or Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. But with the, with the chariot, I, I feel like there's a need to see things more uh, clearly, but also to not be pulled in so many directions and I feel like somebody could possibly be pulling the wool over your eyes or I'm getting wool in sheep's clothing so I feel like for example because I'm getting communication and this could also be communication like air communication like internet uh, this does not have to be a dating site but if you are communicating with somebody uh, in August or you've been communicating with them I feel like it's important to meet or at least see them face to face. So this could be um, at least FaceTime or Skyping um, because uh, I, I just get the feeling that that's important. So, um, but there's, there's a definitely a need to um, communicate to... I think some of you, maybe you were hoping to go with, on a trip in the beginning of August, but then towards the end of August, you're, you, you can't at the beginning, but towards the end, you can. And uh, it's something turns around for you. There's an opportunity. Uh, the emperor is here. I, I think that um, this could very much be indicative of... Something coming through, this could be that, you know, you are uh, going on, this could be an interview or an opportunity regarding a boss is how this is coming across. This could also be starting your own business. This could be, um, you know, the four represents new beginnings. So that's very appropriate. We have a blessing here, an ace of wands or fertilizing you know, the fertilization of something new. Uh, this definitely could be that uh, somebody romantically comes in. Um, besides this, you know, sometimes these, the Knight of Swords, um, I mean, they usually to me represent people, but they can be influences or different aspects of one's personality or energy. But I feel like there's a lot of people around you or where maybe there was um, some lack of support, something turns around and you get some support or you get uh, some backing is how this is coming across. So this very much could be uh, work related. 
and even possibly um, trying to get a business growing. You know, uh, the three speaks to group growth expansion. So maybe there is something that you're trying to expand. Uh, it could This could be a website um, that there's a delay, but then, you know, by the end of August, like I said, things start getting implemented. They start moving forward. So let me see if there's anything else here that is striking me. I'm hearing like pick your battles. Uh, make sure that whatever arguments or battles that are possibly brewing. <laughs> I'm just uh, the, the birds. <laughs> they almost sounded like um, finding that balance. There, there's definitely something with uh, communication or lack thereof. But I think that what becomes or what is stuck later in the month, there's an opportunity to get unstuck. Because um, I almost feel like, you know, somebody is unable to move. So this could be a physical move or somebody isn't sure what direction to move in or they're, like I said earlier, they're, they're, you're being pulled in two different directions. You know, do I move east? Do I move west? Do I travel east? Do I go west? Or <laughs> I'm just, the birds are just going chirping up a storm. So I think it's important that you that you do what you can handle um, because of energy, uh, also finances, and because um, I, I feel like you know there's there's. There's more to be seen and revealed. And I think that by the end of August, some of you decide and you make, uh, you gain clarity regarding a relationship, uh, whether to move or not move, where, where you want your home to be, uh, if you're going to take that job, if you're going to go out on your own and start your own business, um, how you want to expand. I also feel that maintaining boundaries is important. So that's something to, to think about. But there's, a, there's an op a new opportunity coming in, whether in work, love, finances. Um, so... Obviously, this is going to be different for everybody for whom this message even applies to. Uh, but uh, I hope that this brings you some insight and helps you in some way, Gemini. Uh, remember, if this reading does not resonate with you, to watch your rising and or moon sign. And if you would like a personal reading with me, I would love to do one for you. And you can reach me at moonwatertarot.com. So, all right. Well, thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye.